Hey YouTube, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. It's um, May 16th. Uh, I've been making some sheath parts the last couple weeks. Well, that's like one day's worth of of work. Big pile of sheath stuff. Um, got some camouflage done. A little Conan pattern on a mid-sized tomahawk. Um, still need to make sheaths for the Kodiaks. Got to still make the sheath jig for the Uncia. Got one murder too hanging on the wall. It, I just need to make a sheath for it too. It's got the jigs. Um, got the sheaths made for the CQB tomahawks. And then I also did the camouflage pattern on the sword for Lin and the tomahawk for Lin. So hopefully I can get in touch with him and um, get the ball rolling on that order again um, did another I did a horribilis with that same paint paint job can't really see it but it's kind of like the grizzly style camouflage and then a Americanus with the hammer pommel on it um, dealing with some interesting things today got blanks back made out of a AEBL so this is gonna back this is not a not a, I'm not going to rush it to try to get it done by the blade show, but I'm going to have a little mini chef's knife. Um, you can see with a, a hidden tang and a guard will be welded on. And the ultralight Americanus Bowie. And then the Hungry Opossum Combat uh, Sentoku. And then the little um, rescue blades and Harvest, and then the little, uh, I'm going to call that like the prehensile crow or something. It's a dagger with the same prehensile hilt system. That's what I'm calling that. And then finally got some megalodons made out of the AEBL. So one guy's been waiting for one of those. And then Raven Ultralight Baby Crow Ultralight Fat Baby Crow Ultralight. So, hopefully those all turn out. And I also have this crazy, somewhat of a karambit. It's uh, basically the same handle as the prehensile hilt handles. Except it's got the ring and it's got a thumb shelf in the same position as the regular one. So, it's kind of a working... Um, Karambit and then these little teeth on the back are for gripping and it's a little big and it's a little bit weird but uh, Something like I might consider carrying if, it, if I was going to carry a karambit and then there's um, a new Big whacker tool. This has got Handle area for your fingers so you can baton or you can draw a knife here. This will be semi-sharp um, chisel grind and then this will be a real strong axe edge and then back up in here we'll have a main cutting av cutting edge and, and an optional um, secondary bevel like on the dire wolf which is what I really want for myself a really lightweight dire wolf so that's why I got two of those ones I'm keeping um, working on the sheath for the big gym the bowie knife um, and that takes me back to the CNC router in the back room, which is causing me trouble today because I've got this, um, all right, I got to change focus mode, manual focus, and there we go. So I've got this vacuum table grid set up and I'm trying to cut an O-ring around the perimeter, but the, um, this right side of the gantry wasn't made correctly. The holes are, are there's slots in here. And uh, I talked to the guy, Ron, at Romax CNC, and apparently they missed uh, a problem. I mean, they missed something. So I um, actually have a pretty, uh, uh, about an eighth of an inch height differential between the left side of the machine and the right. So the Z axis, I ended up cutting a groove here. On the left side and then no groove on the other side 
So I'm having to file out these slots with a Dremel and lower this thing by almost a little over an eighth of an inch. So buyer beware and uh, make sure that you have good conversations with whoever you're buying machines from before you do it. I've had a lot of learning experience from this WD-1 from Romax. It's a nice machine and and uh, it's teaching you a lot about about stuff but there have been definitely some some uh, regrets about it too but hopefully the next generation of machines that he's coming out with will be better and a lot more easy to to both adapt to um, variable speed control and and maybe have a better vacuum collection system too maybe he'll look at this and see what I did only problem with this one though is I just realized I can't go all the way on my x-axis without bumping into the gantry arm so I've got a I won't need that per se with what I'm doing but can't use the full 20 by 30 area um, nothing's happening in here right now so as soon as I get this CNC router rocking and rolling then we'll be making sheaths and making handles for whatever is left and then doing some more coatings. Weather's been good so I can do some more coatings. Uh, and the vacuum pump system, my dad's still working on getting the plumbing ready for that so he's got some pipe nipples and and stuff. So hopefully things won't get too frantic before the blade show and we'll be able to get some more orders out between now and then and then we looking forward to working on um, doing more coatings on on these remaining heat treated tomahawks probably ought to bust that out tomorrow as many as I can because it's the weather's still good and then there's the next stack of Anubis tomahawks so and then there's all the 3V which I can't do until I get a new bigger belt sander so this summer will be filled with lots of work and I'm excited about it and i um, hoping that you guys out there will be ready to to take some of this stuff off my hands as it gets finished. Thanks for watching. See you next time.